Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, program the FMC in the default 737-800 in X-Plane 11. So whenever you're trying to go to a destination, you have to use waypoints. And I see a lot of tutorials um, of people showing how to use the FMC but not showing how to get waypoints. So I'm going to be showing you guys the whole complete way of getting waypoints and actually making the FMC work. So you guys are gonna wanna head over to online, like this, flightplanner.org. And it should take you to um, a page like this. Once you're on a page like this, you wanna of course set your departure. So departure is just a uh, airport you're um, leaving from. So I'm leaving from KLAX, press that. Destination is gonna be KSFO. Let's go ahead and choose that. Oh, sorry, I switched up. KLAX, KSFO. Um, you don't need to put con con uh, country codes. You don't need to put um, this. You don't need to put the altitude, the level. So you just want to set your departure, destination, and aircraft. So it's the 737-800. And if you were flying the Zebo, I'm going to make another video on that. Um, but yeah, this is how you choose your uh, aircraft. Make sure to do that. And if you're in uh, Europe, just uh, choose kilograms or choose whichever fuel unit you want. Um, you can choose uh, pounds or kilograms. Up to you. I'm going to use pounds because um, I'm from Europe, but I know pounds better. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the plan. And if you scroll down, it's going to show you the route. So. I'm leaving from Los Angeles and going on the coast all the way to um, San Francisco. Now, your SID is pretty important. Um, my SID is whatever is after the word SID. So this would be my SID right here. And then after you've, s you've found the SID, you just want to find the next bold uh, waypoint. Don't worry about the numbers. Worry about the bold uh, words. And then whenever you see star, just uh, stop because you don't need to worry about it. So if I'm leaving from Los Angeles and going to San Francisco, my SID would be RZS and my direct waypoint, which is my next waypoint, would be BSR. And that's all for this flight because it's a very short flight. So I only have two waypoints. With this flight planner, you can also find how much fuel you need um, and how much time that fuel can last you. Now, if your flight is, let's say, an hour and a half, um, it's going to show you 200, uh, two, min uh, two hours and 20 minutes of fuel. It's going to always show you a little bit more, but don't worry, it's correct. So don't worry about the time thing. So just go to the very bottom, and um, you'll see fuel on board. So this is how much fuel you need in pounds. So um, this is my fuel that I need, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste it. So I'm going to copy it. So now that you have your waypoints, um, my SID is RZS. So let's just remember that for now. So as soon as I have RZS, sorry about that. As soon as I have my SID, I'm going to head over to my FMC down here. Um, and I wanna, if I'm, I'm probably going to be on this at the beginning if I don't touch anything. But make sure to press on route. It's going to bring you to a page like this. And you want to choose your uh, origin. Now, your origin is just your departure. So, it's going to be K-L-A-X. Put it in. That's Los Angeles. K-S-F-O. Uh, that's San Francisco. Now, flight number, you don't need to put it. You can put it if you want to. Imagine if I'm flying uh, Southwest Airlines. I will do Southwest Airlines airlines and then you have to put a number the number can be whatever you want so i'll just put 2020 i'm not flying southwest airlines but this is just to show you um now whatever it says two that's actually your sid so like i said my sid was rzs so um i'm gonna go ahead and put that in r uh, z s and i'm gonna put it right there um, once you're complete with this page and you put your 
origin, destination, flight number, and SID, which is RZS, because in um, Google on the flight planner, it showed SID, and then after that, it put a bold word, and it was RZS. So once you've done this whole page, make sure to hit execute. That just saves everything into the um, actual FMC. Then you want to head over to this button right here that says legs, and you'll see a page like this. Now, my departure was KLAX, X, why did I keep saying that? Uh, so, Los Angeles. My SID was RZS. Now, I had another waypoint. The screen's going to become black for a second. Um, so, I have another waypoint. So, it was RZS. Then there's this number, so don't worry about that. And it was BSR. So, BSR is my next waypoint, basically. And this is just my arrival. So, on the FMC, like I just showed you, it shows uh, uh, Los Angeles. RZS. And now I need to put in BSR. It's going to go black again. I don't know why it does that every time. So, KLAX, RZS, uh, RZ, why can I not talk? RZS, and then BSR. You put that in. And if you see something like this, um, don't worry. It's just, um, it shows you there's multiple things. So, there's different frequencies and stuff. You just want to choose the first one. Before choosing, make sure that it's the, this is 209 nautical miles. This is like 7,000 nautical miles. So just choose the one with the least nautical miles and it's the correct one. So just choose this one, the first one, every time. Um, and now you should have this page complete. So put in all your waypoints. Departure is Los Angeles. SID is RZS. And the SID, I put it in right here. I put, uh, or it says two, you just type in the SID. And then you go to legs, put in your other waypoints. I only have one more, and that's my other waypoint. Now press execute to save it again. Now um, go over to the departure and arrival page. You'll see something like this. So departure, you can leave from whatever runway you want. This really does not matter. Um, if you're flying VATSIM, which is on my network, um, or you fly with ATC, uh, when you ask for a clearance, they'll tell you the runway to take off from and your SIDS. If you're flying by yourself with without that sim or anything, um, you can just choose a random runway and a random SID. Now, um, many people disagree with me, but the SID really does not matter. You can put in the specific SID that you find on an o other online flight planner. But for me, I don't. I just choose a random one when I'm flying alone, and it works perfectly. So just go ahead and choose your departure. So today I'm just going to leave from 06 left, and you can choose your SIDs. Now, sometimes um, when you press on them, it doesn't work. So if you can't click on any of them, just select this. You should see where it says sell, sell, sell. Once you see all this, um, Press execute to save that in. Now go back to the departure and arrival page by pressing that. Go to arrival. And your arrival is um, just the runway you're going to land on. So if you want to do an ILS landing or approach and landing, you're going to want to choose an ILS runway. So there's ILS 1-9 uh, left, ILS 2-8 left, ILS 2-8 right. Um, so if you want to do an ILS, you can choose that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that because ILS is really easy and it helps you a lot. Um, so my transition will be this. And sometimes when you press any of them, it actually shows you something that says invalid entry and clear. Like I said, if it shows you this, don't worry. Just press execute. And to get rid of this, just press clear over and over again. So now, um, when, when you save it every time, it should say ACT. So, now that you've chosen your departure and arrival runway, go back to the legs menu. Now, you can see there's a bunch of new waypoints that I never even put in. Now, this is because we chose the departure and arrival runway, so it changed everything. Um, you can see here it says runway 06 left with my departure and um, runway 19 left, which is my arrival. So, it's going to put in a bunch of new waypoints. Don't worry, that's not messed up or anything. Um... You're going to want to check that there's no discontinuities. There's always going to be one. Um, so if you do see discontinuity, it's very easy to get rid of it. You want to press the one under it. So I just choose the waypoint under it, which is this, and then just press right there 
on the discontinuity and it fixes it. Make sure to press execute so you save it and now you can see there's no discontinuities. If you're gonna use VNAV, which is um, like LNAV, it just uh, automatically puts your speed, um, altitude and all that stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys in this tutorial. This is just to get you up in the air and flying. But I'll, I might do another video on how to use VNAV um, and autopilot as well. So, um, that's basically it for today's video. Um, so what we did was we went to flight plan. We chose departure, arrival, flight number, SID, and also this will change. Don't worry about that. So it changed. My SID was RZS, but since I chose my stars and SIDs, it changed to whatever I chose as stars. Um, so we did the flight plan page. Then we went over to legs. Uh, we put in all the rail points, and then we chose departure runway and arrival and it added more waypoints and then to get rid of a discontinuity we just press the waypoint under it and press the waypoint the the button where the discontinuity is so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video um and that's basically it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time